Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Bruins Farm. Dad and I are out here in the field playing plastic again. Right now, we are laying for our peppers. We just finished up for the tomatoes, and we've got a storm coming around 11, 12 o'clock, so we want to try and get as much plastic as we laid, as much plastic laid as we can before the rain hits. You know, he takes off. I just stay back there and make sure everything starts off good. And then I'll jump on the foot lamp, the layer here, and adjust my control so that everything goes well. Right now, the soil is beautiful. It's laying beautiful. But out here we have a rocky section I'll show you in a minute. And it has a little bit of difficulty trying to cover just with all the rocks, but I think it'll be just fine. Our biggest thing is we don't want the wind to pick up later on and lift this plastic back up because then we have a huge mess on our hands. ready for the next row. Okay, so the early pepper field is done. The rest of that field will be peppers and bare ground. And now we're heading down to lay for our cucumbers, watermelon, and cantaloupe. Right here is the strawberry field. Frank and Steph right here now finishing up weeding. They only have about not even half a row of four rows left to do. So they're trying to beat the rain as well. But with a lot of the strawberry plants not coming up and the weeds are really bad, it's taken them quite a while but they can't help that and we can't help that so we're just thankful they're getting that done and taken care of out of the other end the strawberries are quite a bit nicer but these ones are looking between the deer getting these and then the weeds coming up and the plants not growing as good as they should have this end is just kind of in poor shape but they're actually coming around and they're looking pretty nice they're getting some nice berries on them i don't know if you can see there they're moving pretty good though Okay, so here we are now the next day. We got all of our plastic done just before the rain. And now today it's actually raining again, off and on. We just had a pretty good downpour, but now it's, we're in between storms. I think it's gonna storm again in about an hour, but it's not really a big deal because now it's definitely too wet to get in the field and we need to load truck for market tomorrow because we're, go, we're gonna be going to Sailorsburg. So right now, Sammy's in here getting tomatoes around. I just got, she's getting packs of tomatoes around. I got pots of tomatoes, and then Frank and Steph are down there getting sunflowers. And then we'll just keep moving from there with all of our herbs and vegetables, stuff like that. So we're gonna hopefully get this done. Shouldn't take us too long. And since it's Memorial Day weekend, we don't wanna work all day, and we don't really wanna work any more than we have to. So Ben should be here in a little bit. He's gonna also help get this done, and then hopefully we can take a little bit of a break. So Frank and Steph are down here. You can tell we have two different kinds of sunflowers. We have the taller ones with this orange center, or reddish center, whatever you want to call it. And then we have the other variety here that is just like your typical yellow with the black inside. These blossoms aren't as big, and the sunflowers are also not as tall, but they're still a beautiful little sunflower. You can see now it's raining pretty good. Ben just showed up late, like normal. In the greenhouse, it sounds way worse because it just kind of echoes off the plastic. What? Stop. What I said, I said those potted tomatoes over there needed to go before these ones. So uh -huh. I we just got finished up with this greenhouse. We got everything out that we want to. As you can see, we left not too many sunflowers that are blooming. My mom likes to have a couple for the market, and then we like to let a couple more because we're going to be going to market again on Wednesday, and some of these other ones just might not quite be ready. So we want to make sure we kind of have 
uh, a good distribution between each market. That way, you know, people aren't asking for it. At least if we have a couple, that way we can satisfy some customers. So anyway, as you can see, this greenhouse is really starting to empty out now. We do have quite a few things that are on the way. Like we have a lot of balloon flowers and verbena and um, the Gerber daisies, more petunias that just aren't quite big enough yet, which is fine because as you can see, we still have some petunias that are in full bloom and ready to go. So I just hope that these plantings aren't too late because it just seems like when you hit a certain point of the season, which hopefully isn't gonna be for like another three, four weeks, that everybody just shuts down and they don't wanna buy no more because they've got their planters and their gardens and wherever they're gonna plant things full and they just don't want anything no more. So hopefully people keep buying and the season just keeps going well. Out here, the trucks, it looks like a little bit over half full. Frank's doing a great job loading. We're finishing up a couple things, like that's the last of our mint and lemon thyme. We're really getting low now on hanging baskets. How's that with the tomatoes separating the oh, That's all good. All right, so everybody went home on the last one in the greenhouse. I just got everything touched up, watered. Everything's gonna be okay. I think for the rest of the day, I'm obviously gonna have to come back down one more time just to shut off the big vent fans and close up the doors and everything. I love coming up the lane after a hard day's work and just seeing all that fresh plastic we laid. And then up here, a little further, you can see the other field of plastic out there and then three rows of plastic right here, which will be our early cucumbers and zucchini and pickling cucumbers. Right here, which you can't really see. Actually, I'm gonna get out and check it out. My beans that I planted a couple videos ago now should be up, and if they're not, they should be real close. Oh yeah, here they come. You can just see them starting to pop out of the ground. So, that's pretty exciting. And the broccoli and cauliflower and cabbage and kale, all that kind of stuff, lettuce right here, is all really starting to take hold now and you, we're starting to notice new growth on them. So it seems like it's gonna be a while, but time's gonna fly and before we know it, we're gonna be harvesting these. So can't wait, really excited about these beans. You can see some more coming up here and here and here. And hopefully uh, you can see like right there, there's no bean actual coming out of the ground, but you can see how the ground's cracking. If I take that back a little bit, right? there, I don't want to mess it up, is, it's hard to see it, but right there in front of my finger is the stem of a bean starting to pop up out. There's another crack, one's coming out, there's one coming out, there's another crack, so hopefully within the next two or three days we'll be able to look from the road where my truck is and see the beans coming up throughout the whole row. So with that being said, as always, thank you guys for watching and always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.